risk of war with Russia serious, NATO country. Poland might find itself at war with Moscow in three to ten years, the deputy defense minister warned. Poland could end up in a military conflict with Russia within three to ten years, Deputy Defense Minister Marcin Osiepa told the Polish newspaper DGP in an interview published on Wednesday. Warsaw would need the time remaining before the supposed war to acquire as many arms as possible, he added. There is a serious risk of a war with Russia, Osiepa said, adding that the timing of this potential war depends on how the conflict in Ukraine ends. According to the official, it would ultimately depend on how many years Russia will need to rebuild its military potential. He did not identify any additional factors that could either increase or decrease the risk of a conflict. OCEP raised the issue while describing the geopolitical reality that was supposedly forcing Poland to rapidly increase its own defense potential. We have to use this time for the maximum rearmament of the Polish army he told the newspaper, as he defended what the Polish media called a record defense budget, augmented by certain undefined additional expenses. Poland's draft state budget for the next year entails record outlays on the armed forces, amounting to 97 billion zloty, 20.52 billion, Poland's PAP news agency reported. Some additional funds for modernizing the army would be raised through the Extra Budgetary Armed Forces Support Fund managed by the Polish state bank BGK, it added. According to the Polish government's statements, the fund created this past spring accepts donations from anyone willing to make a contribution to Poland's defense. According to Osiepa, the fund could amount to some 30 to 40 billion zloty, 6.36 to 8.48 billion. The exact sum remains undefined as it would depend on financial markets, he added. Warsaw has been pointing to the alleged threat from Russia for quite some time. Since the launch of Moscow's military operation in Ukraine in late February Poland, together with the Baltic states, have been asking the US and NATO for additional military support, citing this alleged threat. Moscow, meanwhile, has been insisting that the bloc's expansion towards its borders was one of the reasons for the offensive in Ukraine. On Wednesday, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg defended the bloc's military aid to Kiev by arguing that, if successful in Ukraine, Russia might risk an attack on NATO allies. Poland has been one of the staunchest supporters of Kiev since the start of the conflict and has also taken a hardline position on relations with Moscow. In particular, it stopped issuing visas to Russian citizens and was one of the EU members advocating for a bloc-wide visa ban for Russians.